CIG has been making some big changes in Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2 that you need to know about. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, man, CIG dropped a patch literally today. And this one, essentially, they made it um, a polished pass for quantum trap okay so uh, i'm gonna read you the snippet that they had in the patch notes and we'll talk further as to the big changes that they made it says here we made large adjustments to quantum travel speeds acceleration fuel storage use and prices in 3.24.2 that will help balance movement around the pu interesting ship fuel tank sizes have been balanced across all ships to adjust for archetypes with some getting less fuel and others being able to hold more quantum drives have all been adjusted for fuel use speed and acceleration to balance ship travel based on shorter and longer distance archetypes cooldown times have not been adjusted really interesting so it seems like ships are going to be in a lot more in alignment into its archetype whether it's meant to be a long distance or long traveling ship what does this mean this means larger ships are essentially going to be the carriers for smaller ships and um, it's going to be more ever more important to fly with the carrier and use that carrier as essentially a mothership when you are in a local area um, to operate in. And, um, and I'll show you why. So in this patch, um, we tested it out. We did a live stream not too long ago with my org mates. And we decided to test out a few of the quantum drives just to see because they did a huge overhaul on all the quantum drives. So I don't think the XL1 is um, no longer the best one to use. I don't think. I think we're going to have to go in and test all of them to see which one is the best, the fastest, the most fuel, the most fuel efficient. And I think the player base is going to need to start considering fuel efficiency over speed um, moving forward. So now we tested a few of the quantum drives and I, one of my um, org mates tried um, the Zeus, right? he i think he did a jump between i think um crusader to microtech i think one way jump i believe and um his trip cost him around thirty-eight thousand auec to refill his tank and i think it took about a quarter um and i believe he was using a um i think it was uh a stealth quantum drive or maybe a civilian i'm not sure the type but the key thing is quantum fuel is a lot significantly more expensive now okay and um also another one of my org mates also tested with a bigger ship so now this time he had an a2 right so decided to do a round trip i, I believe it was from maybe microtech to area 18 and i think and back or something like that um full round trip and it cost him around almost 300,000 auec to refill um for that round trip and that is super expensive this is just traveling from one planet to another and back so that's insane so what is cig trying to do with this based on what they're saying there's going to be ship archetypes in terms of um ranges right so um there's going to be better ships to use if you want to move from planet to planet and better ships to use if you want to um you know uh, operate in a local area so if you want to operate in a local area it's best to use the small ships best to use um fuel efficient uh, q drives it's best to use you know the the ships that will not consume too much fuel because fuel is going to be super expensive you will need to travel around um from planet to planet in the bigger ships but also with fuel efficient q drives i believe they're also going to be adding also also going to be 
making some changes also to hydrogen fuel that we consume as well which will cause the player base to also consider decoupling a lot once you hit your top speed decoupling let the ship cruise kind of like a, the expanse right also we also need to consider the fact that in the future with engineering gameplay our pl power plant is going to be consuming our quantum fuel as well just to run the ship so we're going to need to consider do we need the system on right now whether it's whether it's uh your weapons whether it's uh your engines at times whether it's life support systems or other systems you may have installed do you need them on right now you're going to need to make those decisions at any given time because it's going to be consuming that fuel and that fuel is going to be very expensive okay so this also avails the opportunity for those that own the miss starfarers to make some good money given their ability to also find quantum fuel refine it themselves and sell it to other players see you need to allow us to be able to do that to find the fuel ourselves because if somebody a starfare owner is going to a station to fill up it's going to be expensive for them as well and it want to be really lucrative that way but they need a way to um harvest and refine um in the starfare so um these are my thoughts you guys let me know um your thoughts in terms of the direction that CIG is going with this i'm really excited about it because it's gonna it's gonna slow down the game a little bit it's gonna make us think a little bit we're gonna have to be a little bit more strategic in terms of um what we do and how we do it and um yeah it's exciting times this these are the things that's leading us into the engin engineering gameplay and i'm really interested to, to see more about it uh, but you guys let me know what you think down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one